Hello and welcome to Louise Singleton Creations. In today's video, I will be combining artificial plastic foliage with Jade Diction's Deep Pour Resin to create a beautiful spherical tea light holder. If this works, the advantages of using plastic foliage instead of dried foliage is that it's less brittle. It Well, it's not brittle at all. It's very robust and it doesn't release micro bubbles like real foliage would. So let's see if this works. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. This is the mould I'm going to be using for today's project. It's a large sphere mould with a space in the top for a tea light candle. And yeah, I've had people comment before with this mould that it seems rather large just for a tea light. But, you know, you can make spheres with no hole in the top and it's just a sphere. So it's still decorative, isn't it? And so if you can have one without the tea light hole, why not have one with it? That's what I say. Anyway, I'm going to be using this foliage from this very old artificial plant. And yeah, I was about to throw it away actually, but then I got to thinking maybe I can use it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and let's see how it turns out. Right, so the first job was to snip away all the leaves that I wanted to use. Some of them were a little bit bent or damaged, so I discarded those and just kept the ones that were okay. And once I'd snipped all of those leaves off, it was a case of making sure they were all the right way around. I didn't want any of them to be upside down. So once I had them all together in a bunch with all the ends in the right place, I put some tape around them to keep them all together. It took a few pieces of tape to make sure it wasn't falling to bits and then it was all secure. So once I had that done and I put it inside the mould, I very quickly realised it just wasn't enough foliage. So, yeah, luckily I had another one of the plastic artificial plants. It's a different one, which was good really because it was different leaves and it adds a bit of interest, doesn't it? So I took my other one and it's a shame because I do use it. You'll have seen it in my videos just as a backdrop. But, yeah, it doesn't matter. I can replace it. I just knew that they would work really nice in there. I think I'm going to have a look in the charity shops to see if I can find any more of these because they look really good in resin. So anyway, there we are. I've got more and that should be enough to go into the mould now. Once the leaves were prepared, it was time to mix up my resin. I'm using Jay Diction's Deep Pour Resin. It's a two to one ratio. So yeah, here's the part A in a big bottle and then I've got my part B which is in a smaller bottle. Next, I need to make marks on the side of my silicon jug because I find it very, very hard to see the numbers on them. But I do love the silicon jugs, so yeah. I just get my marker pen and mark where I want to go up to. So for my part B, I'm doing 150 millilitres and then filling it up to 450 with the part A because it's two to one by volume, you see. And so if I've got um, 150 of part B, I need 300 of part A. So yeah, I'm just marking it at 450 there. And so, yeah, I'm only half filling the mould to start with because, yeah, it's a deep pour resin, but it's a very deep mould, too deep, really, for this resin. So, yeah, I think it goes up to about five centimetres, the first pour. So that was part B, which is the hardener. And now for the resin, up to the 450 mark. Once it was all poured out, I mixed it for around four or five minutes until your hand's really aching. <laughs> That's how long you need to mix it and until it's really, really clear. 
Obviously, if you're using more resin, it's going to take longer to make sure it's fully combined. If you don't fully combine part A and part B, you're going to have spots of resin in there that are uncured and it won't be crystal clear either. So yeah, be very, very thorough with your mixing. Now, there's something about the J-Diction Deep Pour Resin that I have always found quite surprising. When I've used other brands of deep cast resin in the past, it's been very, very thin. It's been such a low viscosity, which I've always said is really important because it takes a long, long time to cure and there's, you know, the... Uh, micro bubbles can get to the top really easily because it's so thin but this resin feels thicker it seems you know higher viscosity than what I'm used to for deep pore resin and you know the first time I used it I thought cool I think this is going to be bubbly because it's thicker it's it's you know a medium viscosity not low viscosity but you know what it's actually not. It's just as good as those really thin deep pour resins and it cures quicker. So I was really pleasantly surprised about that. So once the resin was thoroughly mixed, it was time to simply pour it in and give it a good squeeze around the edges because the thing with this is you can't use your heat gun to pop any micro bubbles because all your foliage is in the way and you don't want to use a heat gun on plastic foliage anyway that wouldn't work well <laughs> so yeah I just poured it in and gave the mold a squeeze around the edges to try and dislodge any pockets of air that might have been trapped between the leaves of the you know the foliage so yeah that's all I could do and I had to cross my fingers and hope it would be okay. So the next day it was cured enough to add the next layer. Before I could do that I needed to trim off the foliage because I didn't need it to be sticking out anymore. So yeah I trimmed all that. I didn't do that before because they could have sunk down and got lost and you know um not being vertical in the resin so I had to leave it as it was until the first layer was cured so yeah anyway I'm trimming all that down as far as I can with hindsight I wish I'd taken more time with this and gone deeper down into the mold and not have had any of it protruding but yeah I didn't Next time I would, I'd make sure none of it was protruding from the top. So once that was done, I decided that I wanted a few more leaves to go in the sides, um, just to give it a little bit more interest so that there would be some going halfway up. So that's what I did next. And I thought I'd filmed myself pouring the resin into it to fill it up to the top, but I didn't. But anyway, it was just the same process as before. Just fill it up with resin and leave it secure. Right, the next day the resin felt solid, but I actually left it for two days to make sure it was nicely cured before trying to get it out of the mold because it goes under quite a lot of stress in the demolding process it's not the easiest thing to demold this one and so yeah just to be safe and to not get any indentations or scratches from my nails i left it two days so once again it's a case of trimming off the excess foliage so as you can see i had a bit of trouble um trimming down all that plastic foliage I really did and I wish I'd managed to get it deeper but I didn't so what I decided to do was fill it up because there was still some space in there with UV resin so I've got my J-Diction UV resin I decided to put some um, green chunky glitter in there as well and I just filled it up with that and cured it under my UV light for around five minutes after I demolded it, I actually sanded it a little bit and repeated the process because as you will probably be able to tell, at this stage it's still not perfectly flat. 
OK, I was dying to get it out of the mould to see how it had turned out. So let's get on with it now. I've got a big bowl of lukewarm water and I'm going to get some water in there between the resin and the mould and move it around a bit. And that helps to kind of break the seal between the resin and the mould. And then you can put some um, hand soap in there, which I did as well. Or dish soap, it doesn't have to be hand soap. Anything to just give it a bit of lubrication. And it really helps to get the uh, resin out of the mould. So once I'd done that and got all that moisture in there, I took it out of the water before actually trying to get it out of the mould. <laughs> yeah, don't leave it in the water. Do you know the amount of times I've tried doing it at the sink with water in and then just completely splashing and soaking myself <laughs> when, yeah when you start to get it out of the mould. So I've learned from that mistake. So now I've taken it and I'm just trying to push the mould down around the edges. It actually, this time, came out a lot easier than it did the first time I tried with this mould. So I'm not trying to take, get it inside out. I'm just pushing the sides out, like as you can see. It's a bit like it's um, giving birth, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I got it out and yeah, I'll show you it better in just a few seconds because at the moment it's still wet, but you can get an idea of how good that looks, can't you? So let's have a look at it dry. Right then, so here it is all dried off. And I've got to say, I really love it. I really, really do. And the great thing is that when you're using the plastic foliage like I have, it's a lot more robust. It's not going to break or anything. Like if you dried your own leaves, they would look beautiful, but they're very, very fragile. And this was so much more forgiving. And, you know, unless you knew that they were plastic leaves, you know, I don't think you'd guess, would you? I think they look fairly real and realistic. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. You can kind of see, if you look carefully, where the two layers met. You can a little bit, but you've got to be looking for it. But other than that, it's a really clear result, don't you think? I think it turned out so good and I'm super happy with it. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments if you're going to go searching your house and charity shops as well for artificial foliage for your resin because, yeah, I think you might do. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much to Jay Diction for supplying the resin for this video. I love it and, yeah, I would highly recommend Jay Diction's Deep Pour Resin. Thank you for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.